Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Elliot Kedwin, and welcome back to Life is Strange, Chapter 3, Part 2. So, I think Warren just sent us a me me message. Yes, he did. So, did you blow the lock? Oh, please, I just want to see if you knew you have explosives and to see your incredible artwork. Of course, yeah, he's gonna believe that. He's gonna, he's gonna buy it. You're not so tacky up close. All right, sure. There's a letter. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my sad, unpleasant, regrettable duty to inform you that your petition to block the new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters. As we enc encourage the faculty and student body to par par participate in their school's operation, I recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and rest assured they will be implemented with the utmost concern for privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring the Lackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will not be too discouraged by the outcome of your petition. We are proud of them. Best Principal Wells. Okay. That's good news, though. Happy trails, David. Dear Mr. Madsen, this is to inform you that until further notice you are hereby placed on suspension <laughs> as head of campus security. The recent events and allegations involving Kate Marsh have compromised your current status at Blackwell Academy until a full investigation has been completed. I personally regret this decision, but under these circumstances, it seems to be the only proper decision. I do hope that you understand the and if you wish to appeal this decision, you have 10 days to respond via email or letter. Sincerely, Principal Wells. Well, I guess he cannot respond anymore. But the good thing is, there will be cameras, but it won't be David Madsen who will actually uh, control everything. It will be actual security guys who know what they're doing. Yeah, I like it. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Principal Wells, it's come to my attention uh, attention, the Prescott family crests have been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. This uh, local historical crest is required as per the donation terms to the library, or the donation will be rescinded, among others for the school. Along with that, I understand that the tragic events evolving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Ah. Jesus Christ. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Student information sheet Rachel Dawn Amber. Update. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells. This is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help. This actually sounds like there have been, have been more cases like Rachel's that we don't know about. Well, who knows? Who knows? Okay, is there Man, more? I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Student information sheet Chloe Elizabeth Price. Brief summary, Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent 
To her teachers, she has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update, Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Ooh. I can't see those. Okay. Very two interesting. More files to go. Well, there's more. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Of course he does. Seal information sheet Nathan Joshua Prescott. Brief summary. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. That's not even true, what it says there. How is he popular with students when everyone hates him? Like, some people talk behind his back. Some apparently do like him, like Hayden, we saw at the start, and Victoria, apparently. But others, not so much. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Oh. Student information sheet, Maxine Caulfield. Brief summary. Max says she prefers to be called as considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her pho photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive, others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Despite some recent rock confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. Okay. This file is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Oh. Victoria chases the gold standards for Blackwell Academy. A student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography, Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren is considered an ex exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift of, or curse of gap depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Ms. Grant. We hope Warren focuses on his focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Okay, it sounds pretty neutral. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Tumbleweeds. Okay. And nothing here. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Who says Wowzer? Who the hell says that? And why? Oh. Look everywhere, Max. There has to be some info in the student files. I certainly can't use this. Okay, what do we have here? This pretty much oh, sums Kate. up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Kate Beverly Marsh. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on Key Bay 7 News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Barsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vegan refused to talk further with me. 
I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not she's not under duress from other classmates. As is my suspicion. Regards, Anne Marie Berenke. Update. At present time, there's a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at the Baltic Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Okay, I so, think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Okay. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's Why is it here? Fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that hmm. instead of lecturing me. Hmm. I guess it's money that comes from the press cuts that they donated. I mean, I will assume so. I mean, that's all the money they get here at Blackwell. Or most of the money. Um, Handicapped funds. It's pretty intense. I don't know. Hmm. How many wrong things did I do it until yet in this game? Not that many, I think. You know what? Um, I won't stop her. I mean, it's her that steals the money anyway. I won't stop her. I mean, if, if it makes her happy and it works out for her. Yeah, maybe, but it's still the handicapped fund. Oh, I'm having mixed feelings about this right now. I mean, I think they might as well... Yeah, you know what, ah, don't care. Just take it. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid, right? Sounds you good. You super, Max. Sounds really good. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. Well, yeah, I'll still take it. Because I don't care. Okay. I think I got everything in here. Yeah. 
That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So? Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Mike just looked so lost. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. Go otters. Okay. Let me just go look around real quick. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. What? Desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. I need this for class and my tablet has private pics of my late cats. Rest in peace, I will pay your cash rewards, no questions asked. If you have any details I would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info now, please. Who is it? I hope the otters will survive. The Earth can't wait. Inform yourself, then share. Become an echo volunteer today. Okay. And another ad. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Lost goggles? I admit I'm a goofball and misplaced my flexi wave swim goggles. If found, eternal gratitude and a $25 Bean Hip Cafe gift card. Hey, maybe we will find them. Okay, what up? Boys or girls? Uh, I want to see both, actually. Let's start with the girls first. Girls, of course. Girls, ooh la la. Ooh. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Okay, that's a sock. My god. Where does that other sock go? Hmm. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive in with Warren. Mm hmm. So he's actually got two girls on, on his on his fingers. His long fingers. You know what that means. I think he's he'll actually end up with Brooke. And Max should have said no to the go ape stuff. Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want? Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Victoria's locker. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your. No. Jefferson said don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Yeah, except the one in the middle looks like she's a retarded little 12-year-old boy kid with <laughs> with pink lip gloss. <laughs> anyway. Oh, there's beavers? The wit. It burns. Okay, anything else? Kate's locker. Yes. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Portland. Maybe she was gonna. Maybe it would have been smart. Okay. This isn't roof. a desperate cry for attention or anything. Haven't we seen this before? Someone else, maybe? Uh, somewhere else? 
Sorry, Rachel. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Okay, I want to see more. Yes, it's here, okay. The guy's locker, okay. 69 reasons to bang Rachel. Bros will be bros. Wow. Okay. Is it even important to this look at this? This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Tina needs a baby daddy. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Victoria loves the tea. I bet this is a clue of some sort. Welcome to 1950. <laughs> I bet you do. I love Warren Gayram. I really wonder who wrote that. It's not the same handwriting as this. Or this? I mean, I'm pretty sure I can't figure out who wrote what, so... that's That kind of sucks. I, re I wish I knew. That would be kind of cool. Oh! Ta-da! I've solved the case of the lost goggles. But I'm too busy now. Why? You could take them and... No. No. Okay. Okay, now I'm in here. Good. Who is this? Logan's. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you, love. Logan? Okay. What is this? I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Graffiti. No worries. No worries, it's all bad. Sometimes. E-cigarettes. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Nathan's locker. Interesting. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Dear Sif I don't know what the first one is, but I kind of recognize this one, Risperidone. It's also some sort of antidepressant. I can't really remember what kind of... It might have something to do with either depression or hallucinations, or even schizophrenia. But I can't remember that right now. I recognize it from real life, so I, I, I can't really tell right now. I've, I can't really tell right now. But I'm pretty sure that's some hardcore meds. Don't know about that one, but it looks pretty bad. And this might be the same as the one that Chloe's mother takes. I mean, it looks like the same bottle, so it looks like many antidepressants or, well, of some sort. It goes in that direction. That's a bad sign. If that's all that's in there, that's a really bad sign. That's interesting. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Come on, sniff it. Bury your nose in it. Zack is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Hey, thinking bad things about you. Cool, what are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Hot. What are you wearing? I'm in locker room, only wearing a jersey. Sitting on my football. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Warren's locker. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Yeah, because he's in love with you. And Brooke. Don't forget that. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm done in here. Sex me up. Boy's locker room is right. Okay. Guess I gotta head to Chloe now. Or take a look around first. 
before she actually jumps into the pool. Okay. This is really creepy. I would not like to go into that water. Oh, oh my god. A guest list. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Remove names? No, I don't think so. Oh. I'm invited, aren't I? That's pretty nice. Okay. I will be with you, Chloe. Just hold on. Wanna see if there's anything interesting? Okay, no. Guess not. Alright then. Hey. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I wanna see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light! Okay. Rescue board? I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Oh. Wrong. There it is. Okay. Lifeguard. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Oh. Okay. That's a little bit nicer. Okay, she already went in straight away. And I'm gonna keep looking around a little. So, the big plan is win. Very motivational. Like, wow. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Okie dokie. Let's do this. Oh, nice. Can I... Can I... Can I loot her? No, okay. Oh! And she went in. Time to do or die, Max. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. dare come stop me hippie okay you asked for it cowabunga why look an otter in my water dun 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 you are so obvious and i still get freaked out by that movie so stop ah! i can't even watch any of those shark shows <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time, but 
But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's be nice. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Um... <laughs> yeah. Ew. I don't want any Blackwell bros over me. There's a couple cute guys there, but they probably think I'm a total nerd. Uh, nerds are hot. You just don't have any confidence yet. Unfortunately, that didn't come with my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Oh. Hi! Hi. Who is it? Security guy? Mm. Oh yeah, that's a nice place to, place to hide. Can you turn on the... Can you, can Move, you... Max! Don't waste your power on getting busted! Can you turn off the light, please? Ooh. The music is so loud, I can't even hear if there's someone here. Okay. We have to go now. I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Make sure you cover the whole perimeter. You shit. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? <laughs> Hello? <gasps> No. Anybody there? No. <laughs> okay. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. I'm pretty sure you did. No one? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Oh yeah. Oh, he went away, I think. No, he's not. Where is he? Not there, right? Okay, he went inside of something. Oh, okay. This direction. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. Then it's this way, I'd say. Come on. Sneak faster. Chloe? Oh, okay. We are so invisible. 
what's veiled. Bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash with a Blackwell security officer? I just busted live so I'll be safe. Okay. Into the car. Get in. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Ugh. Glad to see it didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad by the way the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take up take care of the popcorn and other words you can't back out now. Oh come on. I should have said no. I I, I should have said no. I'm kinda I'm kinda mad now. Anyway, uh, I will end this part here, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one!